everyone, and welcome back to more of a medieval remake. I'm the Black Shadow, and it's time to get out of the graveyard. We've defeated the stained glass demon. We've got ourselves the skull key. So now we can get the heck out of here and make our way to the land of the living. But beware of the graveyard guardians. They have a thing for burying bones. In particular, ours. By the way, this gate... Holy damn, this is a scary ass gate. If you've got a gate like this in your local cemetery, I'd be really concerned. Oh boy. Alright then, so. You notice this is basically. Oh my god! It, I broke in the middle! I remember it doing that. That wasn't fun. So you'll know that this is basically the um, the beginning of the last level, uh, the uh, the the initial grave level, but basically going back on ourselves, which makes sense. We're coming back from the uh, from the thing, the thing, the thing. Yes, the thing. I dare you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Scumbag. Oh, the hammer is so good against single enemies. It's such a good weapon. Now, what can do here? I know there's probably someone on the screen going at the screen saying, Shadow, aren't you forgetting something? And No, I'm not. I just want to clear this area out first. Just to, uh, we'll get back to what we're going to do on the side in a moment. Also, this needs to be my primary weapon. There we go. Right. I'm going to shoot these guys here. Classic zombies in that they don't know how to use stairs. So, great! Right. Come on through here. Damn zombies. There's a lot of them. Oh, yeah. Good times. Very nice. Dan making healthy... Whoa! Making healthy use out of his uh, ability to... Well, his newfound flexibility. Uh, I guess that can work. Yeah, so that does indeed do damage. You got to slow the hell away out of that. So, first life bottle down. It'll be fine. There's another copper shield, I assume. Ooh, no! Silver shield! Alright! Ourselves an upgrade. Very, very nice. Not a bad little, uh, not a bad piece of um, protection, this. But we'll keep the copper shield for the time being. We won't find many silvers, um, really, at this point. So we'll stick to the copper for now. Now, what we need to do is a special little secret down the back here, and that involves the river. If you've not played this before, You'll notice there's now some coffins busy uh, floating across here. There's a secret to be had. Unfortunately, the penalty for missing this is uh, pretty fatal. Pretty fatal. I was never good at this either. Oh, we got it. Nice. Take this all the way through. Oh. Thanks, game. Cheers. Cheers. I, I I guess that works. I guess I guess that works. And by I guess that works, I mean that doesn't work at all. What the hell game? That wasn't particularly fair. Oh, we're getting control of my cat of uh, Dan there. That was interesting. Okay, there we go. So we gotta uh, remember to get the hell out of here. Oh that was dodgy. Damn that bit's as nasty as it ever used to be. Grab all the gold here. It's a gold for us. Who's a clever skeleton then? <laughs> Remember that there are many more secret areas like this throughout the land of Galomir. Some offering more than just treasure. Now, I'm hoping that I will remember where most, if not all, of these locations are. But I uh, offer no promises at this time. It has been some years since I last played this. I mean, you bear in mind, the original Medieval was like, what, the second series I ever did on this channel? That's some time ago. That is some time ago. All right, then. So we've got what we came here for, for the uh, secret goodies there, which is nice. So, let's uh, make our way to the Bone Gate. Hello, guys. There we go. Nope. 
enough. Right. So the bone gate was down back here by the uh, by the angel statue. So you. Here it is. Shoot you all down. Very nice. I don't think we can make our way back into there, which is a shame. Also, that secret bit there's now got some health in. We don't need it, unfortunately. Or fortunately, as they might look at that. Right then, does this say the same thing? Pretty sure it does. It does indeed. Right, so. Let us uh, use the skull key of grave importance. Thank you. And there's the exit. However, getting through here may not be too friendly. I'd rather not fight you if I don't have to. Don't make this complicated, zombie. Oh, shit. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. We've not woken the dogs up. Very nice. Want to be faster on your feet? Want to be able to bash down walls by charging into them? All you have to do is defeat the evil guardians of the graveyard and gain this new ability. You will never know why you left the grave without it. Yes, very important ability. We're picking up that soon. So here's the uh, the Undertakers. We'll need a, a rune in order to get hold of that into there. So we'll have to go looking for it. Did I just... Oh, shit, I woke them all up. Ah! Uh, didn't actually mean to do that. Not here. Oh, Lord. No. Stupid dogs. Oh, there's loads of them. Ow. They're pretty resilient as well. There we go. We got one. Where do your buddies go? There we are. There's you. Don't know if you're stuck down there. Quite possibly. There we go. I was going to get back here and then trigger them. A bit early. Anyways, there's the star room. We'll be needing that. So we need to get across here. Obviously, we ain't we're just going to walk there as uh, as easy as pie. We'll have to make a, a bridge of cut of some kind. Yeah, if we can shoot them up here, sure. Why not? Hello. Oh, I just hit him down. Oh, he's dead. Nice. Just have some help in that. Good. Add that to the coffers. 1100 gold already. Wow. Here's the chalice, by the way. Oh, Lord. Ooh. Yeah, these zombies have no heads on them. Isn't that delightful? Mm, i tell you what, actually. What's going to be a good idea is going to be the uh, hammer here, I reckon. But there's more of these scumbags. There we go. That's better. These guys wreck your shields! Uh. Right. Set them up here. Right. Hello. Go. He's defeated. Very nice. Now, what we need to do here is we've got these uh, various uh, blocks here. We'll push them all the way across. I also like my gold. Thank you. We are not short on gold at all. It's kind of ridiculous how much of this we've already got. And with these blocks, push them into the water and gradually make ourselves a fancy dancy handy little bridge for us to cross. Probably just get over with that, but sure, there's there's more we can do here. Also, I would need to buy some crossbow bolts. Thank you. Do I need um game? 
Oh, right, okay, that's how the tab system works. I'm so used to using the D-pad there. D-pad puts you through the section. The analog gets you through the actual items. Okay. All right, then. So let's go get our chalice. And now we need to... Okay. There's more. I mean, it just feels really damn impactful, this hammer. I mean, it just looks the part. Takes us over here. I know, Dan. Come on. You could jump down from here, but let's play this safe. I don't need to throw away uh, silly health right here. But when there's a potentially fun boss fight coming up. Yeah, fun. That's the word we use. Right. So we're going to need to uh, put the crossbow back on for sure. In fact, we're even going to whack on the silver shield here. There's another boss fight I was never that great at. Grab some money. Alright then. Let's get out of here. Right. It's been some time. Doggy. Good doggy. Oh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Put more boss on against the guy. He's going to the graveyard now. This has changed a little bit. You've been able to use the whole rectangle here. All right then. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to um, find opportunities to shoot, attack these guard, the uh, dogs. Unfortunately, in their spiritual form, ow, they are invulnerable. Can't do anything to them, so we've got to like kind of uh, get them when they attack here. Counter fire, which is usually entertaining. There we go. Just gonna uh, pinch shoot here as and when we can. Ooh. Come on, you. Ugh. Hey, you can't go out of bounds. That's cheating. It's because I can't go out there. You actually get hurt if you try me. Oh, God. Now they're both trying to get me. They're like, well, this isn't working. Let's both get them. Probably a good idea. Ugh. No. Rude. Come on. One at a time, please. How many dogs do you think I can pet? Ooh, ow. As and wait, you can. Damn. Especially don't want to be trying to melee these things. That that does not tend to work. That is a tricky business. There we go. Gotta like lead them into it, actually attack you as well. There we go. Oh goodness. There he is. Right, I we think we've defeated one of them. Oh, yeah, he's pissed. Ah! Okay, range may not work for you anymore. Right, we'll do it the old-fashioned way. Get him! Violence! There we go. Ow! Nearly got you. There we go. They are defeated. And for our troubles, the daring dash is ours. Very, very useful ability. Oh, we can come back and use the help. Oh, thank you, game. Thank you very much. Nice. So now we are running around. We can press the triangle button. Is it the triangle button? 
Oh, it's R1 now. Okay, then, for a little dashing attack there. Very... I like the... Uh, that it was like, look at the, uh, the the dust tray on that. It's almost like it's come out of, like, whatever cartoon. But regardless, very useful ability. Especially with combined with jumps. Very important. We'll need that for some secrets. All has changed outside the necropolis. Paths go this way, paths go that way. Nasty, painful death waits round every turn and over every hill. Bon voyage. Cheers, Gargoyle. It's appreciated, buddy. I can just tell from the graveyard. I'm going to enjoy this game so damn much. Let's get out of here. Alright then, so, uh, who's next to visit here at the Hall of Heroes? Chance number four leads us to... is it Stanya? It is still Stanya. Okay, cool. Bravo, Fortescue! Some of the other chaps wagered Zarok would be using your ribcage as a toast rack by now. But I knew you'd pull through. Here, I have a little extra something here I can give you. Could help the old quest. You want it? Thank you very much. Ooh, gold. Why, thank you, sir. Much appreciated. And I'll make up for the crossbow bots we just wasted and shooting into the ether. All right, then. So, four stages down, four chalices down. Good stuff. We've got plenty more to come, don't you worry. All right, then. So, I think I'm actually going to probably end this video here. The, uh, the return's a bit more of a bigger level anyways and bits and pieces. And it means we can break nice and solidly for actually making our way into the world of the living in the next video. Now, this is the first point where uh, we actually get a choice of where we want to go as well. So we can either make our way to the Enchanted Earth, which is a place we'll be visiting a few times, or our next trip can be over to the Scarecrow Field, which I'm... Pretty sure is where we're going to be heading off to next, Scarecrow Fields. I used to be absolutely terrible at this place back in the day. Like, I was rubbish at trying to get through this place alive. It's not an easy level by any stretch of imagination at all. So, uh, it'll be fun to delve into in the next video. So, thank you very much for watching. I will certainly see you then.